Okay, so I know I'm not gonna be able to monetize this vlog, hello, because of the music. Definitely get copyright strikes for that, but I'm tanning again. <laughs> I'm trying to feel a little bit more myself. I can take that off now. Um, I always do the stand-ups. Uh, I shouldn't say always, but um, I've done the lie down ones, but I definitely prefer these. So I'm going in for 12 minutes. This is like my third time going. I don't know. <laughs> getting the kids ready for school. Today is Hunter's birthday. So I have his outfit to change him into. I right, finish cleaning up in here, Lily. I'll be right back. <laughs> Run. Ah! Birthday boy, big sister. Oh, you can't pass. I need the hi. <laughs> There's a pole in the way. I apologize, but happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, yay! <laughs> so he, he's going to daycare as normal today because his birthday fell on, ah, fell on a Friday. But uh, later today we'll have like a little cake, we'll open some presents, put you guys in a better spot. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I am excited for his birthday, but I'm really like... excited because I just wish him my birthday. You had a birthday in August, bud. I wish him my birthday was oh, awesome. Yeah. I, wish I, was, I wish I was seven before Hunter. <laughs> You'll be seven before Hunter is seven, honey. Hunter will be still one when you're seven. Happy birthday to you. Wait. Happy birthday. Wait. When babies, to you. When babies are one years old, do they actually do, do their first word? Yeah, she'll start talking and walking and crawling and screaming and. Oh, yeah. What if today? Oh. No, you got my back. <laughs> what if today he actually says his first word? Well, he's been saying mama. That's technically a first word. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> hold that thought. I gotta change him real quick. Happy birthday. Can you look at your pants Do on? Do you remember Autumn made this for me? <laughs> it was really nice at first. Push. You can have the room all to Did yourself. Did you clean up your room? Yeah. You're gonna be so surprised when you see. Alright, socks. Many good kid. Hi. No, no, lie down. We gotta get some breakfast in us. Ah! Hi, birthday boy. Hi, birthday boy. <laughs> 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 All right. Ugh, let's get you guys downstairs. Have some breakfast. Oh. That is a full diaper. Yeah. 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 Ew. You can go downstairs. I'll be right back. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Hunter. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so obviously we're kind of playing a game of catch up. 
here so don't <laughs> don't mind the status of my kitchen good morning baby um i actually like huh ketchup no i said kitchen we we re repainted the kitchen and stuff and we're like redoing it so i was just telling our fans to not uh not worry about the mess so yeah we're doing a lot of like rearranging i got rid of a lot of um old furniture and stuff so i also have this whole toy section in the living room for hunter right now um it's nice because i pull out and and ella of course i pull out this little um baby gate so it basically cuts off from here to here so he has like this whole area to mess around and corner for my lego box over there yeah of course so ella has her some of her toys more so on this side that he can't get into so again that baby gate just pulls out get the kids fed ella is having some cocoa pebbles <laughs> for breakfast this morning before school i gotta bring hunter to daycare in a few minutes so he's actually completely off of baby food essentially <laughs> Yes, you are. But I have a couple left that I just want to get rid of. So this is like an oatmeal pear cereal. Baby spoon, really quick. Oh, buddy. Put this back in there. There we go. All right, let's eat real quick and get ready for school. So today's Hunter's birthday, and we already got the cake. Okay, ready? What if he puts his hand on Happy the fire? Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hunter. Happy first birthday. You're going to be causing so much trouble and running around very soon to you. <laughs> All right. Let me get you guys. Did you sing this time? Yes, you did. handsome uh, hi <laughs> yes you can have the remote <laughs> um so hunter and i are just hanging out first thing this morning we are gonna open his presents they're on the table next to mr arrow over there <laughs> what the that <-ta> <laughs> he's so close to standing up and walking on his own but he just gets so nervous but i know he can do it like honestly guys i would say within like a week or two he's gonna be walking which is so crazy but this is the first time i've kind of shown you this area so i had to be creative i have a six-year-old i i hesitated because i was gonna say almost seven but she's got a couple more months i have a six-year-old and then a one-year-old their toys don't like each other <laughs> her toys are too small his toy you know it's just it's not it's not good so um, I already mentioned that we put that gate, so I put that up this morning, which works perfectly. Um, I always put something on the TV, but I mean, he's just still a baby. What the hell? Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Scared the poop out of me good. Oh, you know what? Let me get... I was working on a couple vlogs last night. Let me get this wire completely out of here. Um, but yeah, this is completely temporary. Once he's old enough, you know, obviously we'll take away the gate. Uh, I'll put my coffee table back over here. I got it out of the way, one, to give him more space over here. But two, I didn't want you banging and knocking on any corners, little man. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and quickly show you guys this stuff. So he got this for his birthday from his aunt. He got this DJing set walker. I still just got to put it together, um, but he can play with like the music and whatnot. So that was really cute. That came from my brother who actually DJs. Um, <laughs> Hello! And then, uh, of course, we have stuffed animals on the top. Uh, these two toys are always up here, but I pull them down because he pulls them down himself and then lands on his head and then he cries and it's just... What the heck just went off? That was weird. That was weird. Anyway, um, let me show you guys quickly over here. So this is actually one of his favorite walkers. I'll put it over here for him. Oh my goodness, boogies! <laughs> Uh, yes, honey. You're gonna show him the walker and how you use it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you need two hands. Let me know. Let me see the remote. You got it. Come here. Come here, honey. Hi. Yay. My toes. <laughs> 
pool crash. <laughs> so he absolutely loves that thing. He's always walking in it. I'm telling you, he's so close to walking. Even yesterday, I was catching him just standing. Just standing by himself. No support whatsoever. Yes, I'm talking to you, handsome work. All right, let's get into this real quick because I know the minute that Ella hears me talking, she's upstairs watching her iPad. Her little pitter-patter feet are going to run right down here. So let's just show you guys real quick. So what I mean by this is temporary. This shelving unit will move into his bedroom when we're ready. Um, but yeah, let me just show you guys real quick. So in this cubby, obviously we just have the tr a little truck kind of like a it's like a musical drum kind of thing i don't know it has a drum on this side and whatnot then we have play food i actually we went to ikea not that long ago and we found this so it's like foam not foam but kind of like fabric food carrots mushrooms tomatoes cucumbers lettuce onion i don't know what that's supposed to be <laughs> a cucumber I'm not sure, but anyways, we have that, which he also enjoys pulling down. Um, and here is just some extra like stuffed animals. Oh, oh hi, honey. We have this little, what's the matter, you stuck? What was that about? <laughs> we have this um, little rolling giraffe I got from Hobby Lobby uh, quite a while ago. Uh, don't worry, guys, the mess is about to start. Do you have rocks in your mouth? Not real rocks. <laughs> These rocks from his tractor set. Yeah, I'm showing you your toys, buddy. Um, then, of course, down here we have some books that are more, um, they're for him. So, like, I went through Ella's old collection. She helped me get rid of books that she didn't want anymore. Um, and, and, and it's perfect because they definitely, hi, they definitely are younger reader books. I got this one. I can't get my finger through. Ooh, you okay? Oh, uh, I'm a little bunny, short and spout. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm a, I messed it up. Hi, honey. Good morning. Oh, my bo boogies. Sorry, quick tissue break. I mean, I was trying to avoid you guys seeing me like this this morning, but we're going to go with it. So that was the top. Let me just show you guys. So the two bottom. Uh, cubes they're just more full of toys but like hard toys so if he pulls these out at least they're on the bottom they're not gonna fall on their head I didn't want to put the hard toys up here and that's why there's stuffed animals up here at least if he pulls this out this is not going to hurt him the way this heavy basket would so there's just tons and tons of toys he loves these maracas um, you know I mean everything that he's gotten from his birthday and Christmases Woo! <laughs> Um, and then I'm not going to be able to get it, but in the cube behind him, uh, there's literally, ju it's just more, more hard toys that if he pulled down, he would have hurt himself. So, um, but I want to show you guys that real quick today, we are obviously going to open up his two presents we didn't get to yesterday. So I'll show you guys that. And then honestly, today's probably going to be kind of a chill day. Um, the kids are going to be leaving um, around 4 to go out for a little while. So, so when they leave, I would love to go to Home Depot uh, and go get some stuff because, as I mentioned, we're still working on everything in my house. My <laughs> Believe it or not, you guys, even though I've been gone for like a year, bathroom's still not done. But it's, it's so close. All the mudding is done. We got to sand it down, paint it, throw the floor on. And like, it's like a weekend project at this point. The vanity is built. Um, I have to purchase a little light, not a problem. We purchased actually, oh, you know, I think it's outside. We purchased the light that goes above the mirror. So we purchased the window. So like everything's purchased. It's literally just buttoning up. And I, I'll probably, I'm going to show you guys probably one time. We'll go upstairs in just a minute and I'm going to show you that bathroom just so I can make sure that I got the progress before it's painted and everything because quite frankly, it's getting really, really close. But while that's been working on, of course, I've been down here. I show you guys, show, told you guys that I repainted the kitchen. It used to be this like brown color. This is called heirloom silver, I believe, at Home Depot. I still can't believe it. 
I'm sorry, I can't, I can't stop. This is called heirloom silver. Um, yeah, so it, it's a, it's a beautiful color. It's like an off kind of gray situation. Now over here, you guys, I had this really cool project. Oh, also we got that wine holder from Ikea, which will obviously have to be replaced once my kids are teenagers, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge in 10 years. Um, but yeah, there's a little wine holder from Ikea. When we went to the showroom, they actually had two of those like stacked on top of one another. It was super duper pretty, but I knew I had a couple of wine glasses. I wanted to be able to get off the table. Oh, the other thing real quick before I talk about that project is I have all of these spices that I need to get off of the counter. So what I was thinking about doing is that they have these like magnetic almost spice racks and I wanted to find something to be able to put on the side of my cabinet um, like little shelving you know like the same kind of containers get some labels make it all look pretty and fancy and girl the back of your head is ridiculous <laughs> the front of your head is ridiculous okay let's keep going so my project over here is we have obviously these cabinets up here and then the bar and I went on Pinterest which is a very dangerous place to go and I saw a breakfast bar but it had like cabinets up here right but then it had like a shelf cutting right through and I figured how pretty would that be because I could get like a like a column to come on this side all the way up you know what I mean oh bless you baby he's right here by the way Pretty. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> My goodness gracious, sorry about that. A little column coming from like here, going up, and then a shelving, just one shelf, one long shelf, like kind of like a bracket coming off of here so we don't disturb the wine. Come out a little bit, cut across, and then just to put like little cute stuff on. Um, actually, I have a bag upstairs of stuff. I can show you kind of what I'm talking about. I also have... I got these from HomeSense not that long ago, but just like little accessories that go on top of the shelf. So there's this kind of milk glass elephant. I love, I love milk glass, like animals like these, like these little statues. I have them all over my house for some reason. Um, and then I found this, which is just a, it might be too big. I don't know how wide that shelf is gonna be yet, but I figured if I don't use it there, I would definitely use it somewhere else because it's beautiful. I stayed up literally almost till two in the morning last night painting the ceiling um, because it's like the last thing I had to paint in this room. When we go to Home Depot today, I just have to get a, a new paint tray because mine wasn't big enough. So I was using a tiny roller. So there's definitely spots in this ceiling that I miss. So I wanna go get a, like a paint tray, a bigger paint tray, uh, go over it all one more time and then everything is gonna be painted in the kitchen, repainted. We're gonna put up the molding around the windows. As you can see, like over there, you probably saw that the windows are not framed or anything. We just wanna do that all at once. Uh, this light is going to be replaced. I started taking it down yesterday and we got, did I show you guys? I can't remember. I definitely didn't show you the inside of the box. Oh, right here. But we got this light from Ikea as well. This is called the Barometer. Barometer? I don't know. Um, it was only like 50 bucks. It was really inexpensive. Like, it can't, like it'll swivel out, you know, so you can kind of just point it in all different directions. So that's going to go up there so that way some lighting can be pointing this way toward the bar we also have an idea of where i didn't know what to do with like this kind of awkward space keep in mind this house is not my forever home i am trying to raise the value on this house by maybe when i'm 30 years old in a few years i can sell it and buy my dream home you know it, it's it's crazy to even think about, but trust me, all the molding is going to be going up. This door is being replaced. Yep. You okay? Oh, you got it. Good boy. Wait, <laughs> this kid starts daycare and has a cold. Could the two be related? Weird. <laughs> um, but we were thinking about putting in a sliding door if you're new to my channel. 
hey, I've been working on my house for like seven years now. Everything is up. Everything is a project, even my personality. So we're thinking about putting a sliding door so we don't have to worry about like swinging out or anything. But this little area, I'm actually going to, maybe when we go, go to Home Depot today, I want to build out a wall. So from this corner, I want to bring it out, extend it out a little bit more. So like pretend I'm part of the wall, right? This way. It's hard, really hard to show on camera. Pretend my hand is a wall. Okay. And then possibly just, just a little bit, just extend it out a little bit and then possibly bring it this way just a little bit. Again, nothing crazy. So I, I, I give myself a little bit more space to work with on this wall. We'll say up to like from the door up until like my bureau or the dresser at the most. Okay. So that's enough for like a little table or like, that's what I'm thinking is I want to get like a breakfast nook table where you can push in the chairs completely underneath the table so they're not in the way um and then again kind of bring it out this way so it just kind of kitty corners it off so then that way when you're looking at this so you have like a little corner of a wall and then i wanted to put in little little table area get a really nice piece of artwork here or uh, you know on this wall that'll exist i don't know but i thought it was gonna be a really cool idea and the minute that i learned how to build a wall it will be up. I can promise you that. Let's head upstairs real quick. I'm going to grab Mr. Hunter. Like I said, the minute Ella hears me recording, she's probably going to come out and say hello, which I don't mind. She loves saying hi to you guys, but I'm just giving you a warning. <laughs> and then um, I want to be able to spend some time and work on some vlogs. So I probably won't bring you guys back until we're like off to Home Depot or something, because again, today is going to be a pretty relaxing day, but I just sort of wanted to catch you guys back up on my projects. But let's head upstairs. Oh, come here, handsome. We gotta go upstairs real quick, baby. Yes! Oh. Good morning, baby. Hi. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> what is that now? I'll leave my door open so you can come in when you want to. Good morning. This looks like a very relaxing Saturday. What you watching? Um, I'm watching a little Kelly <coughs> video, and there's like a ghost block, and it makes you fall down in a lava. And it's all different kind of blocks. It's there's all different eight. kinds of blocks. Mm -hmm. Wood, dirt, redstone, stone, clay. There is clay. Clay, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just showing you my room. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, my back. Your back? What's wrong with your back? Oh, that's why I'm staying in bed. For ah! There's okay. no rush to wake up. It's Saturday, so we're just going to chillax a lot. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to go show them the bathroom real quick, okay? All right. Take your time, sweetie. No rush to get out of bed this morning. All right. Let's get in here. Now, please excuse. I have to use the work light because the other lights are shut down right now. But um, like I said, this is the the tub's been installed forever, um, but all of the mudding, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to see that. So again, we just have to sand it down, paint it, um, put the tile down, which here is all my tile, uh, and then my vanity. It's two pieces. Um, so super exciting to see that come up too. They're beautiful. I got these off of Amazon, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, they are beautiful, honey. We're also going to try these this morning. I bought a bunch of these. This is the breakfast kind and it's out of focus. There we go. This is the breakfast kind. What? Who do you think I'm going to eat your food? Are you hungry? <laughs> um, but yeah, I got a bunch of lunches for like daycare and stuff. And obviously at home, if I need a quick lunch. Um, but we're going to try the morning bowls this morning and see how that goes. I'm just kind of waiting for him to let me know that he's hungry and we will eat really shortly oh and one more thing because this is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life so i'm sure you guys have seen 
these all around stores, these little mini griddles. Get them, they're amazing. I bought this one, which is like the pancake one, but you can also do, like I did an egg in it the other day, like a fried egg basically. So these are amazing, but I'm a huge sucker for Valentine's Day. I can't help it. I love Valentine's Day so much. So we got a heart-shaped waffle maker. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I love being an adult because I can just buy crap like that and I don't have to explain why. It's because I wanted to. Oh gosh, now this. Oh, I screwed up. Alright, so Hunter is trying. It's a morning. It's an oats, red quinoa, and farro with topical fruits. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Am I supposed to microwave this? Oh, I am. Peel. I gotta throw this in the microwave real quick. I have no idea how he's gonna like it. That's what it looks like. Can I see? Ew. Read a boogie. So I started giving him some cold medicine too because his nose is running like crazy. What do you think? I don't know how he feels about it. This boy eats everything, so it, it's just new. All right, he really doesn't seem to like that one. I will try it again because you want to keep introducing food for babies, but we're going to try the oatmeal and banana one and see if he likes this one any better. So these are really simple. You just take them out, puncture the seal, put them in the microwave for like 20 to 30 seconds. What do you think? Still a questionable face, but you seem a little happier. <laughs> he loves bananas and stuff, that's why I figured he might like this one better. Those boogies are uncontrollable, kid. Okay. And he does have a sippy cup full of water. He just likes to throw it on the floor. <laughs> All right, guys, so while Hunter's been napping, um, I actually took the kids out earlier. We went to Target and Home Depot. I was able to find a shelf at Home Depot. My house, my kitchen is such a wreck right now. Um, I have a shelf and what else did I get? Oh, I got brackets for that shelf, but I still need to find a column first. But here were the brackets. I'm covered in paint because I am finishing up doing the last corner of the ceiling. And then I'm just gonna have to go into the wall with a paintbrush and just touch up this like at less than 10 spots I just gotta quickly go in with a little bit of that gray paint and then I will be done I see a cabinet I just gotta get a little bit of paint off um oh and then the baseboard as well that I'm going to repaint so this is um the paint for the baseboard so I have a, quite a bit of stuff to ke keep me busy once Hunter wakes up from his nap the kids are actually going to go to my mom's because they want she wants to see him today um so I'll have a little bit of time to myself to get some real work done. Hi. <laughs> so I'm working with a I'm working with a little rolling pin right here just to get that corner. I don't know how much I'm gonna necessarily need for these baseboards, but mm, this one's stinky. Alrighty, I went and got a new paintbrush. Um, so basically, I'm gonna use the paintbrush to go over some of the edges really carefully and then use the roller to go over the majority of it. So I'm gonna see how much I can actually get done before Hunter wakes up, but we'll see. I'm gonna very carefully Try to go around these rocks as well. And just a quick comparison. 
So obviously there's the baseboard not painted. There it is painted. Makes a huge difference, holy smokes. Hi. I'm up Get chocolate on your face. I know because <laughs> I was actually eating some cake stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey! We're gonna try this stuff on before it gets too dark. The kids are actually leaving in like 20, 15, 20 minutes to go to my mom's. Um, you so are we're gonna try. Hey, Joe! Stop! What are you beating my window for? <laughs> what are you doing? hearts we put on for Valentine's Day and our I, Valentine's Day that. garland. Ah! Here I go. All right, so the first piece I have, oh wow. <laughs> um, excuse me, you can see right, <laughs> you can see right through the boobs. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to find something obviously to wear under it. I may not necessarily be able to model it. I think I can still use a bra to model it. This one should just be a black dress, so I should be able to just throw it on real quick to show you guys. All right, so here is the first outfit. Obviously, the top needs a little bit of work. That is not what I would be wearing with this. And the skirt, it does fit. It's an extra small. It does fit really nice, and it has some looseness, but I just can't. I'm like, I'm afraid I'm going to break it because the, the zipper is almost stuck in a certain spot and I'm I'm like I'm really afraid to pull it and break it so I'm gonna try to pull it um when it's off of me and stuff but this is a really really cute set obviously date night girls night kind of thing you could even throw like a denim jacket over it with some high boots or something um the skirt is quite short but um it does come up high which is nice or you could you could technically wear it lower too but I really like that one. Hi, buddy. <laughs> here is the second dress. This is super cute. This is super adorable. Um, they have all these ties and stuff, so I'm definitely gonna have to play. It's like three different ties. Definitely gonna have to play with it, but. And this is the last piece. This one is really cute, actually. It's very stretchy, really comfortable. Um, it's a really modest length too. It definitely goes past the knees. I was eyeballing this particular dress for quite a while. It was just in my wish list, and I just decided to end up buying it because um, I love dressing up in the spring and summer, obviously, when it's nice out. So, yeah. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go bring the kids to my mom's, and then honestly, I'm gonna go back to Home Depot. So, 